Yes. Icy Black Lee, she And action. Hi BAFTA kids, welcome to the set of the Amelia Gapping Complex. I've been doing sketches on YouTube for a while and then the BBC noticed and they approached me about making a comedy show, like sketch show, and we kind of developed it from there. We filmed a pilot and it's about a year later and now we started doing the actual show. I'm Scott Peters and I am directing the Amelia Gapping Complex, Series 1. Um, I mean, as management, I used to work with them in a production company back in the day, and I've been doing a lot of commercial work since. And then when he started working with Amelia, I asked if I would help out. And then that kind of branched out into a year and a half of filming her sketches. And during that time, we made a pilot, which became what this is now. It's a lot different because when I do sketches online, I'm worrying about more things. I mean, I have Scott to help me, but we worry about the lights, the, the edit, and all this sort of stuff. But when I'm working with all these people, there's so many like different people doing the different jobs, so it's a lot easier for me personally. It's nice because we have rules where you have to finish the day at a certain time, because um, quite often we go up to like two in the morning. I don't know because. It's because Amelia often plays a lot of the roles herself. It's a lot more fun because everybody else brings all these different ideas that I would never have thought of, and I'm like, yes, that's brilliant, let's do that. Doobie 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 doobie. Right. This song really gets oh, me. Oh, yeah, it's not doobie 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 doobie. Okay. doobie, 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 doobie. I come on first. Nothing's my cue. Doobie 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 doobie. I'm Jasmine and I play Vinny. And this is. I'm Natalia <laughs> and I play Poppy. We're three like best friends who live together in this incredible house, which we somehow know how to afford. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and we get up to just like mischief in the flat. So I'm like the devil side of Amelia. I'm like the sassy, feisty one. Um, always up for a dare, always up for a challenge. Poppy is the sweet mother of the group, as it were. Um, she likes to take care of everybody. If they're sick, she'll be the first person to look after them. She is, yeah, just carefree, happy, bubbly, very sweet. Good positive energy, yeah. I think, with Poppy. I so mean, she tries, she's a bit ditzy as well. This show has got a lot of, uh, what are they called, Easter eggs. Yeah. Got and lots of Easter eggs in like the, the newspapers and the magazines. This one is Vinnie's Pimple Wins Daytime Emmy. <laughs> that's your pimple. Uh, that's yep. This one is Fans' Passion yeah. Lack of yeah. Frying Pans and Bananas. That's a reference on many of my YouTube so videos. Many. Fun little Easter uh, eggs for you. Cow I'm Alex and I'm playing Wallace. Uh, Wallace is the weird neighbour to Amelia, Poppy and Vinny. We live in quite an illogical, nonsensical world yes. where anything is possible. Basically. Um, there's quite a lot of like, magic realism. Yeah. And um, all characters commit to that full heartedly, <laughs> I'd say. Hence the. Um, Jar of eyeballs. And. Uh, well, this is actually melancholy. just a melancholy. <laughs> yeah. I wondered why my melon felt so melancholic today. You never really know where the show's going to go next. There's lots of like different costumes and different characters that pop up and then sort of fade away again. And yeah. uh, it's very, very fun. It's so difficult to not laugh when like, that's the most difficult thing is like, when, especially you, like when you do your weird, like, lost was I? <laughs> like he has all these funny lines that he does and like you have to make eye contact but try not to laugh. And it's impossible. Uh, uh, oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> hey, so cool. Me and Amelia had a scene where I was um, just going to put my melon down. I was massaging Amelia's face with slices of toast. <laughs> it wasn't wasn't as fun for me, I'd have to say. Like having the toast like rubbed against my cheek, but yeah, like there's crumbs going everywhere. But um, I like, Scott, our director, had it done to him, and he thought it was very relaxing. Yeah, he thought it was nice. I disagree. Um, but I think the skin, like, yeah. exfoliating. It's been a struggle so to concentrate funny. sometimes. <laughs> They're like, come on, we need to get the shot. We need to get the shot. I'm like, okay, I'm ready. I fed a carrot to a sofa this morning. <laughs> Hungry sofa. We've got all sorts of props that that talk, that become animated, that you wouldn't expect to become animated, and yeah, yeah, it's just silly and wacky. And they're sort wacky. of the, the rules are there are no rules, so it's mm. just been really fun. It's quite a bit more adult, I think, than a lot of other productions of this ilk, and it has had me in stitches. If it's a working air horn, don't press it. No, don't want to come in. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> 
did not picture this at all. Like this is a really fun, like exciting thing to do. And uh, like a couple of years ago, I've never have imagined that I'd be doing something as exciting and cool as this. It's nice just having like a mixture of women in in the one place, and we all sort of bounce off each other and. We do. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. We've, we're only in week two of filming now, and it's been a very, very, very fun. <laughs> a lot of silly laughs. <laughs> so a lot much of giggles, silly laughter. A lot of My top tips would probably be um, embracing your own creativity and just like pursuing what you enjoy doing and what you're good at, rather than trying to do what somebody else is doing. Like just do what you want to do, and if you enjoy it, then you'll be good at it. <laughs> Can you just hear cats? <laughs> <laughs>